My name is Speedy Boy Rhapsody, and we're going to be playing a whole round, that is to say, every single character, uh, as fast in base mode, not turbo mode, but as fast as possible. The primary reasoning behind this being training. Somehow I feel I need a little. Just in particular on being fast. So it's a different playstyle to how I usually go. So I might have to value things differently, like something that is a lot of value for me typically might just be too slow a weapon to really justify using. God damn it, Ryan. Well, that's, a, that's an immediate restart there, right? Typically playing alone, that would be, actually. It's okay, though. Beautiful. Room completes itself. Almost entirely. So I also probably want to consider, like, finding my first gun as soon as possible, running to the boss with it, just leaving the floor. Like, I will... I will happily leave behind as much value as possible to go as fast as I possibly can. And some of these runs will lose because I have tried to go as fast as possible and given up more value than I can afford to have given up. But the only way that I will learn exactly how much value I need to win is to give myself exactly that much value and win with it. So a dramatic turn from my typically value-orientated playstyle. Not only for this game, like, almost all games that I play, my first port of call is wanting to have a ridiculously value-orientated... Oh my god. Wild. Uh, some sort of ridiculously value-orientated build. But sometimes tempo matters more than value, like, especially in card games. Uh, or combo matters more than tempo or value, or, you know, aggro matters more than value in card games in particular for those examples. This is my experiment to find out what matters more than card value in this game. I feel like using this gun is going to save me a lot of time. As long as I warm it up appropriately at the right areas. Because otherwise I have to walk into a room and still warm up the gun. Uh, also, it's, it's time to leave the floor. Like, this is good enough. This will get me through the boss. And I knew pretty much where the boss room was going to be. So hopefully I end up with more bosses like this one. Where something about their patterns enables me basically to completely ignore having to dodge rolls so that I can fire the disintegrator for longer. That's fine. I'll happily waste that just to confirm that I get my master around. Well, heroin is obviously the better room play weapon here. Really good on its charge up. Uh, one thing is... Secret room. Secret room. Nope. Neither of those secret room. All right. We'll check the secret. Exit. And bounce. Fine. Heroin is obviously incredible for this, but heroin is also quite slow, right? It takes a long time to charge up. So a lot of the time, if I walk into a room and there's a bunch of small enemies, I'm going to have to swap. That said, a rapid fire rate weapon is really what I want for those situations because the other option, the disintegrator cannon itself, also has issues being immediately usable against enemies in a room. At the very least, after it's charged up, I never have to charge it up again, so it's particularly good if there's a large amount of enemies in a single room, but not that efficient for reloads, especially. Okay, so it looks like all of these moves that I'm making, by the way, are made with the assumption that this is the direction the boss fight is in. So every single direction I've chosen is where I believe, based on my understanding of the mapping, the boss is going to be laying. That's really unfortunate. Okay, so I can't even steal this. Alright, fine. 
Got punked by the map generation. That's okay. Went down a very long dead end there. That said, there's no way to get that time back, so I've just got to keep on keeping on. I will take my extra blank, though. Pretty important for the boss fight. I am... Damn it! Oh, I didn't know which attack the enemy was doing there, whether they were doing the normal Blobulons attack that hits the entire room or the Oil Blobulons that doesn't. I will check this shop just because I'm going past it already. And remote bullets. Worth. Turn a lot of our weapons significantly better, but also, in particular, very good with just giving 10% extra damage. Damn it. Please stop hitting me. I know I'm trying to play fast, but don't hit me. Disintegrator. Yeah, beautiful. Because I'm going to want to stand and fight constantly in this, comp uh, in this boss fight. And thankfully, the extra blank that dropped at the end of a previous room gives me the ability to do that a little bit more commonly. Oh my god, beautiful. It's exactly the attack pattern that you want against this boss, by the way. Extremely pleased. The boss basically could not have been more generous there. Beautiful. Gungeon Ant? I mean, I have nothing that synergizes with it, but I might eventually. I do have a key. Yeah, I should probably just open this chest, though. It's possible that we immediately got an item that would have synergized. Sadly, we didn't. Uh, I should also quickly just blank these with secret rooms. I mean, that said, should I not be doing that? Right? Maybe I'm not even going fast enough yet. Six and a half minutes to floor three. That's kind of fast. But if I want to be going truly, truly fast to a point where it would be, you know, a fastness that might win me some sort of a tournament. Then I'm really going to have to stop trying to get all of that extra value that I keep trying to get. Like I was talking earlier about the fact that, ha ha ha, clearly what I'm doing here is I'm changing my playstyle into an anti-value playstyle. It's uh, finding more in other directions, but uh, I'm still playing pretty heavily into value. It's just I'm not clearing extra rooms after I've finished a floor. Which seems like a part of the point, but not all of it. Not by a long shot. Yep, accidentally uh, slapped down on the wrong button there. Wasted one of my blanks. That's fine, though. Nothing I can do about it, so it was fine. All right, so boss is this floor. Most charitable is probably Mind Flayer, because we have the... We have the Disintegrator, and the Mind Flayer probably gives us the gap longest to just hit it with the Disintegrator, so. Seems our best. We are getting pretty far from the initial spawn room, which means that I'm probably getting closer to the boss room. Likely, but not necessarily guaranteed, unfortunately. Never mind. We're good. This is probably one of the fights where I have to dodge roll the most. What? That... That is one thing I hate about the Treadnought fight, and that is the Treadnought's explosive that it can fire at you uh, can hit one of your Guan Stones, and if it hits your Guan Stone, it explodes and it deals damage to you. That seems... That seems like that actually needs to be fixed, because having Guan Stones in this fight is worse than not having them, which is unique, to say the least. 
I could have just blanked that. I just didn't expect it to hit me because I was so far away from it. So, mass shotgun can be a faster clear under certain circumstances. Unfortunately, it seems like we are meeting none of those circumstances well. Let's go back to the heroin. Also, uh, uniquely as the Marine, we do have access to an ammo drop. So that's something that we are going to have to concern ourselves more with as other characters. What do I do if I suddenly don't have enough ammunition to continue using the weapon that I built my entire foundation of my run upon? Because I don't have that many other weapons. Um... On other characters, that'll be more of an issue. Thankfully, as soon as we run out here for the heroin, I've got other options. As well as an ammo reload. Ooh, okay. This could be towards the boss room, but this could also be the long wrong road because this is getting back kind of geometrically pretty close to the starting room which means that it's not looking good but also this does seem like the most developed path available to me Oh, king room, okay. That's not an end of a hallway either, the king room. So that means that we're in a good position to get a free item. Something that's been a while since we've actually been able to get. Like basically after bosses? Or, uh, all the items we get at this point in time. Okay, using not but the Derringer. Unfortunately, this is anti-speed, but it is positive value. I don't know if this is what I need at this point in time. I suppose I could be awfully misplaying constantly here. That said, I always end up thinking, even when I am actually legitimately trying to speedrun, ooh, but if I slowed down a little bit more, maybe I would get some value, and then that value would help me run faster. Ha ha ha. Gunjang! Oh my god! Ridiculous! Thank you for this indiscriminate hustle. Well, this is going to be insane for us, obviously, because we have master rounds. Master rounds, sorry, uh, robot rounds. Machine rounds. One sec. There's an ant crawling over my arm, but I could feel it. Ah. All right. So High Priest already hit me as I came in, just because a shot came from the opposite direction to the direction the High Priest was in from me. Ah, uh, yes. This is how it'll typically happen, I feel, unfortunately. All right, High Priest. Got a couple blanks left, and unless you go invincible right now, we're fine. I mean, maybe even uh, this should be my room clear. It would be really, really quick and very accurate. Sure. Let's do it. Now... The pace that I am running at at the moment is the pace that I am used to running at for the Rito and Raps Race to the Dragon series, right? Uh, the name particularly important there, Race to the Dragon, because this is the level of value that I prepare for to get me past a Dragon fight. I mean, obviously we're a little bit more powerful than that at the moment, but just in general. So I need to know exactly how much I can get away with, or rather how little I can get away with if I do intend to go to the Lich. Just in case we have a race to there. Get him! Hey, you find him. Finally found him. Yeah, it's usually always been to the dragon or the past, so 
if we die on bullet hell as a result of going for this build, basically, eh, cost of doing business effectively. I have learned a thing, at least in that scenario. Alright, let's throw the ammo back into the gun zhang. Nothing here is really appealing, but ration is actually a lot of health for us. Feels like it might be the entire opposite direction. I'm gonna go the entire opposite direction. Uh, but yeah, ration is two health if I ever die. So it's like two extra heart containers effectively for us, as long as I'm okay with locking out my main spacebar item. That said, I don't know if I am okay with locking out my spacebar item. The ammo drop is pretty important. And unless I end up getting value out of it this floor, I think I do want to take it to bullet hell. Really? Yep. Just turned out to be a long waste of time. Hell yeah. Good work, Ryan. Full cleared the floor so far and have found every direction that's not correct. What a speedy run this is. If I had seen this room, I would have assumed that this was just a loop. Right? That it was a loop from here all the way back up to the item room and nothing else was available. So I would have turned around and gone to the other side of the opening elevator. That would have been wrong to do, but it's what I would have done in that time, uh, at that time. So yeah, I guess like the biggest difference that speed has made to my gameplay for this run is that I'm using the Gunjang instead of the heroin. And I guess that I also have fewer items. Okay, so I wanted to feed a mini boss here. Like it would be really easy for us to do. Ideally, we don't have to, though. It shouldn't take us that much time to do, but it also doesn't provide us that much value to do, so... Lame. We please... No, 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 just stop! Stop, 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 stop! Way too many of them on the map at the same time, thank you. Wolf to accompany us on our travels at the very least. Nice. Are we going to be full clearing at this point? Yeah, we are. This is a loop back to the main path, and the main path is just going to end with the dragon. Wow. This has been the most annoying pathing. Mm hmm. It's pathing that seems uniquely designed to make me basically full clear this floor. Keep running, keep running, and we're out of here. Uh, we may actually end up using the ammo drop in this combat. If we do, I suspect that we actually will go back for the rations. Do have to maintain my blanks here, just for the possibility of the thrown knives. Absolutely beautiful to be using a gunsheng that has machine rounds, though. Gosh, it looks good. Yeah, because of the fact that I know that that will... Oh, actually, I'll just fire out the rest of this and fill up the ammo now. Neat. Uh, because of the fact that I know that the same bullets... Oh, God. Took a hit. Because my ammo spawned in a completely different location to where I was. And I was expecting it there. Damn. But because I know that these shots are going to circle back around due to machine rounds and come back to the same location, I can't really just like pulse fire to try and not waste that much ammo against boss armor. Okay. So yeah, we definitely go back to the shop.
I, mean, I guess we can take the key. We might spawn two chests next floor. It's unlikely. It's possible. So yeah, what well, that's a sub-20 dragon kill? I mean, that's not bad. I don't think that's bad. But, like, it's gonna be the final 10 minutes or on the final floor. Even despite the turn uh, the determinant pathing. Let's make absolutely sure, uh, sure that I haven't got my weapons wrong. Yeah, my best weapon is just Gunjang at all times. Good. Pretty standard rooms right there. I say rooms, I mean room singular. Yeah, there's not too much different about this run from others so we should just be able to use the same kind of clear strats that we use with everything else uh, open that before it gets destroyed <laughs> ah, quickly getting a demon head that's not going to do anything for us though yeah unfortunately i can't waste that much ammunition on the target so we do need to swap weapons if we have pits available At the very least, the Icebreaker fires all of its shots directly straight, right? Because of the machine rounds. All shotguns are significantly better. Right. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Thank you, Wolf, for helping finish that off, as well as the machine rounds for redirecting my shots, because I just left there. Such a waste of time to go back. Woo. Just under the wire. Yeah, not really getting the Fast and Furious ammo drops that I would hope right now. Thankfully, I do have a couple guns that still can be used against the boss. Neat. Didn't even let a single one of them fire off. God, I really do need ammunition soon. Okay, so we've gotten yeah every good path so far. We've done one extra room total that we didn't need to. And only taken one hit. I mean, both of those are pretty good. Getting ammunition is an incredible boost to our potential. We can get one more full ammunition before the boss. And we're done. Great. This is exactly the type of room that heroin would take a billion years to clear. Like, this is where the difference between heroin and using the gunsheng is going to be most pronounced. I suspect almost every room is cleared by gunsheng faster than heroin, except for rooms that you walk in and it's just a single target. There's not that many of them in hell. Don't even need to see the enemy to be able to kill it. Damn it. Doggy, finish one of the targets off. Thank you. And okay, so we've reached a dead end. We've now officially completed three extra rooms that we didn't need to. That said, 50-50 to almost be at the boss. We do definitely now need more ammunition in this gun. Got him. <laughs> I like how well I've been prioritizing targets through this run. That's something that I've actually been pretty pleased with. Finding the right time to hit the right targets. Ooh, and a full ammunition, and the boss is in the next space. Beautiful. The game could not be rewarding us more. It is clearly pleased with how well we've speed ran. Despite the fact that I think this is pretty damn slow, to be honest. Right. 
knew that I was just going to be able to run that enemy down. Thankfully, I was right about it. Section number one, time to go down. Well, I mean, actually, section number one is probably the only section I can ever afford to use Disintegrator on, depending on the attack phase. This is not a Disintegrator attack phase. That said, if I stand opportunely, it can be. I mean, yeah, sure, you can summon, but it's not going to matter in a moment. Great. So now we can go back to Gunchang. I didn't want to realize that I only had enough left in the Gunchang in order to take out two sections and then have my final section be the section I have to use Disintegrator in because you are so incentivized to dodge roll there. Uh, that said, you're also really, really relying upon the dodge roll for this fight as well so it's another consideration one sec while well, i have to pause to scratch my nose Beautiful. summon all the bullets on the map see if i care see if i care yeah it looks like it was about 200 bullets to take out a target so yeah i probably should have been fine that's okay more news for the future at the very least. So this is going to be, what, a sub-30 run? Okay. This could have been much faster. But unfortunately, I am extremely, extremely rusty at speedrunning. And don't necessarily know what to value in speedrunning for this game yet. I think I've got a general sense, like I took survivability and rations, and I took the right things in terms of uh, extra damage modifiers basically whenever offered them, and uh, no extra flaws, and forcing out weapons, and those kinds of things. But I think I need to learn the rest of that tool set so that I can get like a sub-20 lich. Is that possible? Actually, no, I think... 22 is the fastest lich that's ever been done. So I'm six minutes slower than that? Is that the true? Is that? Wait, is that actually true? Hang on, let me check speedruns.org. Speedruns. Speedrun. Answer the gungeon. Yeah, let's actually find something that I can compare myself against so I know exactly, exactly how I'm doing. Okay, so it's hell percent. Yeah, 13 minutes, 18 minutes, 22, 22, 22, 23, 23, 23. Oh, neat. This run actually qualifies me <laughs> as uh, another good speedrunner for this game. Sweet. What, 26? So 26 makes me sixth. Yeah, that makes me sixth for hell percent. All right. All right. So I know generally where I'm working. Let's try and get a sub 25 then. That should probably be my next target. For the moment though, my name is Win Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.